of the central concepts in OCalc Pro is the use of the catalog. The catalog stores assemblies, stores objects, stores the components you use to build up your pole model and to perform your analysis. Um, we've seen the use of the catalog in other videos, but in this video we're going to talk mostly about the management and configuration of your catalogs and what goes in there. So out of the box I get two catalogs. I get a master catalog and I get a user catalog. And the master catalog contains those components that uh, everyone in my organization uses, uh, basic poles, electric equipment, and assemblies. And my user catalog contains those components that I, for my personal work, find useful on a regular basis. So let's take a look uh, real, real quickly at how I can build up a pole, starting with my master catalog. Pop open my master catalog, go to my poles, go to my wood poles, type a 45, Class 4, NESC, uh, Western Fur, drag and drop. Says you want to make a new pole. Yes, I do. Goes ahead and does it. Hooks up whatever my default load case is um, that I have configured. And just as easily as that, I've made the pole. Let's go back to the master catalog and again say, okay, well, now I've got my pole. I'd like to put a, make myself a little bit of room here, take a cross arm. So I can take a single six footer. Put that on the pole, and then I can take my insulator and put that on top of the cross arm. Put it out at the correct position. And then again, I can go into my spans, take a primary, take an AAC primary, put that onto the that, make a copy of it going the other way, take a copy of that whole thing, put it over here, uh, make it on the other side of the cross arm like so, and with relative ease I've gone ahead and I've put together a, uh, a pole. Let me slide that over a little bit more. There we go. All right. That's, but that's a bit clunky. So let's see what I could do if I wanted to take advantage of my user catalog. So I'm going to pin this open. Here's my user catalog. And this is available for me to modify in any way that I choose. So I'm going to make a folder in it. I'm going to say I want to add a subfolder folder called demo. Even better, better if I spell demo correctly. And so there's my demo folder. And now if I take this cross arm with these two insulators and these four span segments on it, and I just take that and I throw it into the demo, it makes a copy in there, and now I have it. And so let's say I'm back to, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And let's say I'm back to my bare pole here. And what I really wanted to do um, was not have to go to all the trouble of building all that stuff up, but instead take this cross arm and just take the entire thing along with all of its children and put it on the pole. I can do that as easily as that. I can also do something called an assembly. So let's imagine I have on this pole a transformer. Like that. And I also had this transformer in this same folder. Now you notice there's no parent structure for these two things to live on. They're both just members of this of this catalog. But I can treat this whole catalog folder as what's called an assembly. So let me go ahead and take that out. Let me go ahead and take that out. And now rather than taking this cross arm and dropping it onto the pole, I take the catalog and I, or the folder and I drop it onto the pole. And it says take everything in that folder, keeping its orientation, setting the uppermost thing to this height. Go ahead and put the whole assembly onto um, this pole. And so you can see it'd be pretty easy to put together framings so that I can just quickly build up poles based on known sets of assemblies that I that I maybe make minor modifications to and off we go. So that's nice. I have a user catalog that I can um, that I can uh, do anything I want with. I have a master catalog that has all my components in it. But let's say that sometimes I don't want to do wood poles. I want to do maybe poles from a particular manufacturer. Well, in OCalc, you can have as many catalogs as you want. So if you go to Tools, Catalog Maintenance, 
configure catalogs, we see here a list of the catalogs that I currently have loaded, and it's the stock two, one user catalog, one master catalog. Let's say I want to add a catalog. Um, first, I have to say, what am I going to call this thing? So I'm going to call it uh, manufactured poles. Uh, then it says, well, what um, manufactured poles? It says, how do I want to treat it? Do I want it to be something that's locked, or do I want it to be editable like a user catalog? I'm going to say I want it to be a master catalog. And now I'm just going to pick it. And so let's say I take the Creative Protrusions catalog from Creative Protrusions Inc. I'm going to go ahead and say that. Say I want to use that. And it says, where's the expansion file going to be? I'm going to say, OK, I want to do that. I'm going to say, OK. It thinks about it for a second. And now you see I have a new Manufactured toll Poles tab. I'm going to dock it over here with the rest of my um, catalogs. And so now here's my Manufactured Poles catalog. And I have octagonal poles, round poles. Let's take the Creative Pultrusion 40. So the CP42. And let's take something a little beefier, a little less beefy, CP44. And I go ahead and take that. It says new pole using this. Uh, this isn't saved. I don't really care. I'm going to say no. And so now you see I have my manufactured Creative Pultrusions pole. It's a composite pole, not a wood pole. But I can still go back to my user catalog and I can take my assembly that I did before and I can take that and I can put it on there just as easily and I can mix and match my assemblies, my poles and whatnot and I can have as many catalogs as I need in order to get my my work done. I can also make multiple user catalogs. It's very convenient for example to make user catalogs on a per project basis and put assemblies in there that make sense for a project. So let's go ahead and see what would be involved in making a brand spank a new uh, catalog user catalog from scratch. So I say I want to make a tools configure catalogs. Okay, I'm going to say I want to add a catalog. I'm going to call it user two. It's going to be a user catalog. And now actually don't pick an existing catalog, but instead, um, well, I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to say. Just type in a name of any catalog that I want. So I'm going to call it my catalog. DLC. And you see, now it made one called user2. I'm going to say add the catalog. Oh, no, not the catalog. Let me say OK. Thanks about it. And so here is my newly made user catalog. It put a root in with the with the name of whatever I said, but I can change that by saying I want to rename the folder to, you know, to test one like that, whatever I want to call it. And now just as easily as that, I'm go ahead and dock it over here. Just as easily as that, I have a new user catalog that I can use for whatever I want. So let's say I want to take this cross arm and I want to put it under there. I'm going to put a copy there. I don't know why I put it the root like that, but you can do it. It doesn't stop you. And so I can have as many user catalogs as I want, and they can be used in any way that I want. Now let's look at the next thing that's kind of interesting, because you might say, well, I'd like to be able to share something between myself and other users by either putting them in an external folder or something like that. So I'm going to shrink this down, and like so, just so we can see my desktop here. And you notice if I go into my catalog, and I take this cross arm again and just drag it and drop it onto my desktop it actually goes ahead and makes a little file which I could then mail to somebody and by the way I can drag this and drop it into a email um, message and it'll go in as attachment I can do anything that I can drag and drop um, in, in any way that I want but let's say instead of the putting this on my desktop I put it into a shared folder out on the network and I wanted this to be something that other people in my company could use so I can let me go ahead and hide this down if the, I could then take that and drag it and drop it just like that into here and I said put this one at 20 feet let's say and you see that what it did was instead of taking it out of catalog I just took it out of the file system and I can do this with any components that I want I can drag and drop between the inventory between the catalogs between my desktop between my e email client um, I had the ability to basically put these things anywhere I want and make make shareable 
sections of useful assemblies that I want other people in my organization to be able to use. So that's a bit of an overview of catalogs. Obviously, there's much more that I can do with them, but uh, that's the basics to get you started.